What's going on everybody? Today is the long awaited video of setting up Profit Trailer and PT Theater on a VPS. So I'm gonna make this as quick as possible. Um, I don't have a ton of time, so forgive me if I don't go over every single tiny little step. I'm just gonna assume if you've already set up Profit Trailer, you kind of understand the ins and outs. So I don't know why I'm on this page. This is my YouTube channel. <laughs> um, first, you're gonna go to link number one in the description and it's going to take you to a page like this. This is where you're going to purchase your VPS. Um, this is the one I use. You don't necessarily have to use this one. Um, by all means, use whatever one you want. Um, full disclaimer, if you do use the link in the description, I will be getting a kickback really small. I honestly don't know how much I'll be getting if you do sign up with Vermac. Um, I don't have anybody who signed up with me yet. So um, I've had good, good results with these guys. So their support team is legit. And it seems to be the common place for most people using Profit Trailer. Um, almost everybody in the Discord chat is using Vermac or, uh, you know, there's a couple main ones, but this is the one that I chose. So I chose this one here, the $7 a month, um, a, gig, a gig of RAM, one core, 20 gigabytes solid state, um, DDoS protected. It's got one terabyte of bandwidth, so you can use one terabyte of data a month. Um, and yeah, so that's the one I chose. So you add it to your cart and I won't do this, but basically this is where you'll choose your, your stuff. So Buffalo apparently is their main location. You can choose that. I would choose the one that you're closest to. Um, I probably wouldn't pay extra to get, you know, these ones. I would just, it won't make that much of a difference. So Pick Buffalo or wherever you're from or wherever you're closest. If you're in LA, click that one. If you're in Atlanta, click that one. Um, then I went down here to operating system and I chose Windows 2012. Um, it looks like they upped the price here. No, I don't think so actually. We'll, we'll find out in a second. So, and then I just left this the same. So I just, you know, this is what I did. I made sure, make sure this is blue. Highlighted in blue means that's the one you, you're picking. Um, don't pick any of these if you're not familiar with them. If you are, by all means, use Linux or whatever. Uh, then you add it to cart. <clears throat> and I already have one in the cart. So I have one in, let's see, let's remove one of them. And you'll simply check out. And then you're done here. Okay. They'll, they'll have set it up. It'll take a couple minutes and you'll get to a page that looks like this. Now your, your status will be offline, so you'll click the boot. And then once your status goes online, you'll want to click VNC desktop. And what this will do is open up a more or less, see, I already have mine open. Um, when you first open your VNC desktop, that looks like this. What it'll ask you is it'll ask you for a password. You're going to create a password so there's no one can log into your VPS and write that down. And then also note that the username is standard, I believe is administrator with a capital A. So that's going to be important for a later step. So write that down. The, your username is administrator, capital A, and then you create your own password. And every time you log in using VNC desktop, it'll prompt you control alt delete to unlock your screen and you'll get to a page like this and it'll just look like a windows login page and you have to type in your password. Very simple. So once you're in here, um, this, this is your VPS. You're basically renting a computer from someone else. There's a couple things that we need to do before we are able to, to install and download, um, uh, what am I saying? Profit trailer. So what we're going to need to do is I have this pulled up in a different browser here. So I'm going to copy this. You're going to need to install Java on this computer. So you just open up Google Chrome. Google Chrome came with my VPS. They already installed it. So that was cool. Um, and you'll just copy this if it will work. Come on. Oh, it didn't copy. Classic, classic. Where'd my desktop go? 
Dang it. This is different. This is too much work. What a mess. All right. Now we should be able... Damn it. Java 8 download. This is what you're going to type in. It's just that easy. So <laughs> you'll get to this page and God dang it. This is the, I'll explain what's happening here, but we're going to, it's a real pain in the ass sometimes. This is why we're going to go through another step to get out of this dumb page. Um, this, this VPS kind of wherever that went, this client area, this VNC desktop is, is pretty poor. I'm not a huge fan of it. And that's why we're going to use Microsoft, um, what's it called? Remote desktop. So we're going to set that up in a second, but first download Java eight for whatever computer. If you got the same one that I did, Jesus, this is, this is a real pain. So I downloaded windows 64, click this, you run through the setup really simple. Now, Next, what you're going to do is, I'm going to close this out because I'm sick of using that. You're going to go to your app store um, and you're going to download, if you're on a Mac, you're going to download remote Microsoft Remote Desktop. And that's going to bring up something like this once you have it downloaded. Um, you can get this on a Windows. I'm not super familiar with how you're going to download that, but it's it's pretty straightforward. You know, you go to Microsoft Remote Desktop and, and it should bring you to a page that looks like this, right? And you're going to go to your IP address, main IP. You're going to do this. You're going to log. You're going to click new. Connection name. Name this whatever you want. I named mine PT Trailer VPS. I already created one. Um, your domain username here is administrator with a capital A. Oops. There we are. So I'm not going to actually do this because I already have one created. And then you type in the same password that you used for your VNC desktop. Okay. So that's why I told you to write that down. Okay. So once you have this done, you are good to go. And I don't want to add this. Come on, get out of here. Okay. That's fine. Just get me out of here. Okay. Once you're done and you've added that, now you can go continue. See, this is what I was talking about, but once you put in that password, it's going to log you in automatically. And we're in. So if you remember, this is where we were before, before I shut down that page. So now I'm just going to close this out. This is crap. We don't need that anymore. You already downloaded Java. Now you're in your VPS. So this is cool. Microsoft Remote Desktop is much easier to use. It's quicker. It's more responsive. This is something I like to use. You can download this on your phone. You can get a mobile app and uh, the mobile app you can monitor your profit trailer from too. So that's pretty cool. Um, okay. What's next? The last thing you're going to need to do is head on over to Windows PowerShell. This isn't what I wanted. I apologize. I'm all over the place. Um, where did it go? Administrative tools. That's where you want to be. Click on Windows Firewall with Advanced Security. Okay, and then once you're here, this is really important. This is going to be where you allow your profit trailer to run on a certain port. And this is super important. If you forget to do this, you your firewall will shut down your profit trailer. So go to inbound rules, click new rule, click port, and then you'll click next. And then you'll click 8081, next, allow the connection, next, all of those are fine, next, and then you name it, okay? Once you're done naming this, you click finish. I'm not gonna do it because I already did this. You get it? All right. Outbound rules. New rule. Same, same thing. 8081. Oh, you'll click port here. You click next. Then you'll be fine here with TCP specific remote ports. 8081. Next. Allow the connection. Next. This is all good. Name it. Name it PT out and PT in if you want. 
It helps you remember. Whatever you want to do, name it whatever you want. Then click finish. Okay. Then you can exit out of that. Now you're solid. Your, your VPS should be good to go, set up and ready. Now all you have to do is go on to Google Chrome and you can either email your old files that you already set up or you can just go to the GitHub and you basically just install Profit Trailer um, and PT Feeder right onto this computer. It's very simple. You just download it from the GitHub or you can email your, your files that were working properly before um, and then you're good. You just save the files on your desktop and make sure that the file paths are good. One thing to note is if you set this up on a Mac previously, um, say you, you started out on a Mac and then you decided to upgrade to a VPS. Um, generally, if you got the VPS that I got, you're using a Windows computer. So your file paths are going to be different. So you need to make sure that when you go into your PT feeder and profit trailer, that your file paths are correct. Um, with the Windows file path, it's a bit different. Other than that, you just follow my other videos on how to set up and install Profit Trailer and Profit Trailer Feeder, and you're good to go. That's all you need. So with that, uh, let me know if, if I missed anything or if you're having some trouble. Uh, let me know in the comments and give me a like on the video if you liked it and it helped you. And subscribe if you want to get more uh, updates on certain profit trailer things and then I'm going to be going over different uh, cryptocurrency stuff ICOs whatever um, I'm going to be doing some some sort of trading uh, for trading stuff I'm going to do some like tutorial videos on how to kind of get started with actual trading um, basically that's what profit trailer is doing for you but I'll kind of get behind the uh, the sort of fundamentals on how profit trailer is using EMA spreads and all this stuff right so if you want to see more of that, subscribe to the channel, and if not, be on your way. I'll see you later.